Well, Laura, watching this, I thought this executive could have used some orders from artificial intelligence. AI is all around us, and AI is helping the National Weather Service predict weather events, helping web tech, the, web, web, te the web telescope manage half a million miles of galaxies away, billions of light years away. Well, did he call it the web telescope? Isn't it the Hubble? <laughs> yeah. Was he thinking of web yes. Hubble? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> but look, his my, his performance today, Laura, was so oh, unsteady. Man. Even Kamala oh. Harris couldn't keep a straight face, like you. All right, there is a web te <laughs> there is a web tele <laughs> there is a web telescope that I didn't know about. Okay, so Biden yes. is I stand corrected by Joe Biden. What Laura just proved to us or reproved to us is that it doesn't matter if she know anything about the subject that one is talking about. She will spit her vitriol anywhere she's able. She's like a young venomous snake. She's deadly for all the wrong reasons. Everyone knows that racism is a cancer and it still exists in pockets of the country, but because Biden has no positive agenda to share with black America, he has to sell fear and engage in the most despicable slander. White supremacy is a poison. It's a poison. It's been allowed to grow faster and fester in our communities. Domestic terrorism rooted in white supremacy is the greatest terrorist threat we face in the homeland. The greatest threat. We have to act. No, Joe. The greatest threat to the African-American community right now, Democrats who have nothing to offer other than trash talk and division. And it doesn't just hurt Fox brand. Well, actually, to the people who work and watch Fox, it doesn't hurt their brand. It is their brand. It doesn't hurt their brand that they are watching and listening to this type of lies on every segment of Fox News. It is ridiculous that we are at this point where you can be a leading anchor on a large news station in this country and be this capable of ridiculousness. Sitting and mocking the president as he is actually right about a telescope that she's never heard of and continue to breeze over it after she just chuckled out of her seat along with her guest at Biden for saying the Webb telescope and it's exactly what they were talking about. But she was clueless about that. This is par for the course for Laura Ing. This is par for the course for Republicans and also it's par for the course for this country. And I say this country because we have allowed this ridiculousness and it's so many people that support these people or support being civil to this level of ridiculousness that this entire country is to blame for not just Fox News, not just Laura Ingram, but the entire state of the Republican Party that we see ourselves right now. To expand on this belief and this thought, consider the fact that no Republicans are holding none are holding Tuberville, the senator from Alabama, to account. No one is holding him responsible for his action as he continues to jeopardize military safety. The Senate proceed to executive session for the consideration of the following nomination. Executive calendar number 236, Lieutenant General Gregory M. Guillaume to be general. That the Senate vote on the nomination without intervening action or debate, that if confirmed, the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table, and the president be immediately notified of the Senate's action. Is there objection? Madam President. The senator from Alabama. I object. The objection is heard. Madam President, if I can just address this very briefly before we move to my colleague from Indiana. I have a discharge petition that was signed at our conference lunch the other day for Lieutenant General Gregory M. Guillaume. That discharge petition was signed by Senator Tuberville, meaning that Senator Tuberville believed that we should be voting on General Guillaume. I was asking for a voice vote for General Guillaume this evening. I'm not sure how we remedy this situation. We saw this as he first signed a petition to discharge a vote out of committee or out of conference, then gets on the floor and stands up to the very petition that he just signed and objects it. What is happening? A man who has never served a day in the armed service, that is a Republican senator, is behaving this way and has been the entire year, holding up military readiness. For a country and a party that swear they love their veterans, between Fox News, Donald Trump, and Republican 
elected officials. I don't see it. I don't see it. I can't find patriotism in what we call Republicans right now. And Tuberville is the epitome of it. And their mouthpiece, which is Fox News, is the epitome of it. It's missing. It's ridiculous. It's also America. And we allowed this. Y'all do better. I'm Mundell Robinson. Enjoy your weekend.